Sensei Alexis, and I forgot what comes next, but I'm pretty sure it's the name of the show. All right, we're gonna do the portal turret or the ramen pants. Ramen pants. Oh, I missed. Welcome to Karate Chat. On today's episode, we have a new kitchen helper. Did you win the blue and white sharky last week? If not, we have a brand new one. Sensei Bernadette has been busy with her sewing machine and her embroidery machine. Look at this adorable sharky. Oh my goodness, different color scheme. So cute though, still the adorable smile. So if the last sharky got away from you, you have a chance to win this one. Same as the last Sharky, comment on the YouTube video before midnight on Sunday, and this could be your Sharky. Today we are making chicken caprice-ish. All right, thanks for telling everybody, Sharky. So it's chicken caprice-ish because caprice is traditionally a salad. And it's mozzarella cheese and tomato and basil drizzled with balsamic vinegar and that's caprice so we're taking that base and adding some protein to it and turning it into a full meal so it's chicken caprice ish okay let's get to the ingredients before i get eaten. yeah for tonight's recipe we need Kiai. Seven ounces of chicken breast. Kiai. One clove of garlic, minced. Kiai. Five ounces of fresh tomato, sliced or chopped. Kiai. Like this. Kiai. Three or four leaves of fresh basil. This is grown in our garden. Kiai. Half a cup of shredded low fat mozzarella. Kiai, one teaspoon of olive oil. Kiai, half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Kiai, that's all the ingredients. <laughs> Kiai, thanks, Sharky. You're very helpful. So we're gonna put you to the side and get to our first step, which is going to be the basil. So for this, we want to make the basil very fine. Typically in a caprice salad, it's a very fancy term. It's chiffonade, which means you roll it up and then cut it into long slices like a chiffon ribbon. Um, we're gonna chop ours. We've got our fresh basil leaves. For this, we're going to get some big chops in. And now that we've got kind of a little pile of basil, you can leverage the knife, point it down, and chop. Shark chop. Yeah! Okay. All right, so that's all in our little bowl. And we're gonna set it to the side. And then we're going to bring over our chicken process. So for this, we get to use the toy again. I mean, the very official tenderizing tool. Sit on this for a second. There we go. All right, we've got our chicken breast and we are going to put it inside the plastic bag so that way we don't get chicken everywhere and what we're looking for here is to get the chicken breast into a very thin slice so that way it cooks super fast so we're going to stick this inside of our towel goodbye chicken it's a magic trick <laughs> surprise it it's still there okay we're going to use the flat side of the tenderizer because if we use the pointed side this way we can actually put holes into the plastic bag which is going to defeat the purpose of putting the chicken in there in the first place so we are prepared ready Yep, looks like a chicken pancake. 
So now that our chicken has been flattened, we are ready to head over to the stove. We're going to get the garlic aromatic, which is a theme on this show. We're big fans of garlic and getting it smelling good. And then cook the chicken just very quickly, one or two minutes on each side to get it cooked. You ready, Sharky? Yeah! All right, at least you're not trying to eat the chicken, it's raw. Here we go, to the stove! Yeah! All right, you sit up there, dark spot. Perfect, okay. We're gonna put the pan on a medium high heat and add in the olive oil. First step, get the oil all over, not all over you. And garlic, Garlic gets about 20 or so seconds just to get smelly and delicious. Look at them dancing. That dances. That's the delicious dance. We're gonna be delicious. We're gonna be delicious. Alright, I think it's done. So it smells good. <laughs> so now we're just going to quickly cook our chicken on this pan. There we go. Come here, chicken. Okay. And a ta da! Alright one quick little bit of cooking it doesn't take very long about one to two minutes and then we'll flip it over yeah all right turn it off remove it from the heat look at that delicious chicken yeah we're going to put it right onto our parchment paper line cook sheet. Now for this next step, you can put it in the oven to broil it, but we are just going to use the toaster oven since it keeps the kitchen a little bit cooler. So this is getting ready to go. And to get our caprice feeling, we're going to sprinkle on our cheese. So here we go. Kia! Cautious key out because you don't want to waste this. And this one is going to be for me. So it's got some dairy free cheese. And I haven't found a particularly awesome one that I love yet. So if you use dairy free cheese, let me know in the comments which ones you like. So now we're going to broil it to melt it down. And it only takes like three minutes. So we're going to pop it in here. Let the toaster oven do the work. And hit the button. Gyaaay. Doesn't it look amazing? Oh yeah, I want to eat it right now. Well, you can't. It doesn't have all of its ingredients. Relax. Look at that. Wow. You know, for not being real cheese, it does melt like it. So this one seems to be okay. Add this to our plate. Our tomatoes have already been beautifully plated up. Thank you, Sensor Bernadette. And Gai. Hooray! Yum! It looks so good. What do you think? It needs something? Yeah. All right. You wait over here. It's special. There you go. All right. Now we're going to add in our basil. The basil goes on everything. So we're going to be generous with our Gai. Yeah. I somehow managed to still get it on the placemat too, because it goes everywhere. And the last piece, the balsamic vinegar, which really just adds that pop of flavor. So it contrasts with the sweetness of the tomatoes. You get a little bit of this in there. It already smells so good. Plus the chicken and the cheese, full meal. So let's Artfully key eye it on here. Here we go. That wasn't terrible. Alright, look at that! We did it! Another easy to cook meal. Doesn't take very long. Throw it together. Tastes of summer. 
and you get those amazing summer tomatoes, which are in season, and they taste so flavorful. So if you're ever gonna have tomatoes, get them in the summertime, right? Yeah, they're so delicious. I know, right? Totally amazing. And now, we need to grab a fork so that we can taste it. With you. So good, I can't wait to taste it. Layer it all in. The moment of truth. Mozzarella dance. Yum, yum, yum. All right, that is some amazingness right there. Doesn't take very long to put together. Powerful flavor in summer tomatoes. Balsamic vinegar garlic coming through in the chicken oh man so good plus the melted cheese on there how can you not love melted cheese <sighs> if you give this recipe a try let me know how it turns out we're taking our traditional capri salad and adding our protein in doesn't take very much and if you're interested in getting this awesome kitchen helper sent to your house don't forget to leave a comment we're gonna close out the window for winning the pink and teal sharky at midnight Pacific time on Sunday. So get your comments in if you wanna win this adorable little kitchen helper for yourself. I had so much fun cooking with you this week and I look forward to cooking with you again next time on the next edition of Karate Chop. So if the last sharky got out of got out of your way like you were driving in the ocean, what? Hopefully our neighbor's yard doesn't catch on fire. Oh, that would be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I almost fell over on that one. Do that one again. <laughs> All right, sharky, you gotta help me. Help me, sharky.